Hey everybody, Steve Stedman here. Uh, what I've got to share with you today is an interesting query that I stumbled across that when you run it, it pretty much chews up all the memory on your SQL Server. Uh, now, why would you want to do this? Well, first, uh, there may be different load testing environments where you want to test how things perform when your SQL Server loaded up and most of the memory's been used up. Here's how it works. We're using a common table expression and it starts out with with CTE zero select one is number and what that's doing is that's just a common table expression that wraps a simple uh, select statement about as simple as you can get with a common table expression. Then it says with CTE one as select star from CTE zero therefore it's a nested CTE because CTE one is referencing back to the first one and then CTE two references CTE one and the pattern continues all the way out to CTE 2500 and then I'm going to be using the go statement in SQL Server Management Studio that when it's followed with a number uh, it says execute the query that many times so by running this it's going to end up executing the query 10 times so uh, let's take a look first switch back to the task manager here and we can see on the task manager we have available 22 gigabytes of memory and we're using just 1.9 gigabytes of memory. I just restarted SQL Server and there is no load and no other connections at this point in time. All right, so let's give the query a try and see what happens. We kick it off, jump back over to the task manager and you can see the memory is immediately growing up to nearly 100% utilization. Now you notice over here, if I jump back to SQL Server Management Studio, I have three tabs and each of these tabs has the same query open in it. You'll notice as the query runs here, switching back to the task manager, that it runs for a little bit and then the memory drops and it goes back up again. Jump back over, we'll run the second query and take a look at what we see. Similar drop as we saw before. We'll jump back and we have a third query to try running exact same query a third time. So three of these are now running. And you can see that SQL Server's memory is uh, nearly uh, all used up just based off of these three queries running at the same time. Now if you have more than 24 gigabyte of memory and you want to try out this crazy little trick, uh, you might need to just replicate the same CTE pattern that we were doing here for the nested CTE out further levels, further than 2,500. Maybe not. I mean, we'll see. All right, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to check out the free database health reports at databasehealth.stevestedman.com. Have a great day.